Welcome back. This is part two of our crypto API tutorial. This will be a really quick video on how to parse the data we got from our previous tutorial. You'll notice I switched to a Linux environment as opposed to Mac in the last video. This is just for organization purposes, but everything will work exactly the same as on Mac or Windows. So we have our code opened up. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my API key and run the code again. All right, so we have terminal opened up and we're gonna go ahead and run the Python file. So I'm using Python 3. So we just made an API call to the CoinMarketCap API. What do we do with this data? If we try to use it on an online JSON parser, it won't work since our code currently has to print text and not an encoded JSON object. Let's go ahead and create an encoded JSON object in our code. So let's go to line 24 and create our encoded JSON object. We'll call it parse data. Make that equal to JSON dumped response dot JSON. And then we'll print parse data. Make sure to save that. I'll put in my API key again and then we'll run it. Alright, back at terminal, we'll clear it out. And then we'll run the script again. As you can see, it prints two objects. One with single quotations and one with double quotes. All right, so let's look for an online JSON parser. Let's go ahead and highlight this encoded JSON object. Copy it. We'll go to Google now. Google JSON parser. I use JSONformatter.org. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. We'll paste it onto the left side. And as you can see, it formatted our JSON. It tells us what's inside the key value pair for status and data. And here you can see it has an ID of one and that's Bitcoin. If you look into the documentation, if you change the ID inside your object, then it could pull Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency that, that CoinMarketCap supports. This makes it easier to understand the data that we're getting back as opposed to reading it on terminal where it's all jumbled up as you can see on the left side. There's also the price. So right now the price of Bitcoin is $12,271. Okay, that's it for this video. I wanted to keep it quick. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. The more comments I get, the faster I'll create the next videos. We'll continue building on our project in the next video. Until then, catch you next time. Thank you for watching.